Welcome to the channel. We are going to look at the latest update from Automobilista 2. This update brings together all of the loose ends in this title, which has had the loose improvements and changes over the last 24 months. For me, although a lighter update in terms of new content, the fix is an introduction to some of the thermodynamics and track interactions mean that the sim is only going to get better here on in and we can expect some great new content later this year that will sit perfectly with these updates. We're going to cover the new Brazilian Stock Car 2024 series, Formula Ultimate Gen 2 2024 update. The new tyres with the adjusted hysteresis, which forms the start of something that's going to be rolled out further on in the sim over the coming year. We have a new track to play with, a host of graphical changes and AI and safety car bug fixes. With these updates, Reza has put itself in a position to really focus on some amazing content later this year. People's expectation is it will see further development on the endurance trap pack. Don't forget that Automobilista 2 has now also partnered with the IMSA series which is an exciting project that hopefully will come to fruition later this year. We've got the latest Brazilian Stock Car Pro Series 2024. These stock car will already feature the tyres that will come in version 1.6. With the adjusted tyre physics, the cars are slightly sharper and less tolerant to sliding than the 2023 counterpart. The Brazilian Stock Car Series has always been one of the most refined cars, possibly because this is the very first series with so much content. These cars feel slightly heavier than the 2023 series, and this series has the updates that allow you to use push to pass as many times as you like on a single lap. And every AI interaction feels incredibly realistic. The cars feel really planted, and I think these are one of the best series and best physics of any car on AMS2. If you go down to select championship, you can see Stock Car Series Pro 2024. Here, they've got every single race calendar. Choose your vehicle and you can start. Here you'll find these are set up with random weather, the time of day for each of the practice and the qualifying sessions, and the corresponding date. The series itself has all 12 rounds that ends into Lagos. In the menu, you'll also find the different stock car race championship point systems. In this update, we also get enabled offline dust particles. This means when the track is green, or additional debris has been kicked up onto the road surface, you'll see more dust in the air. These fine particles are absolutely fantastic. The higher speed and the higher downforce cars you use, the more dust you'll possibly see when you're racing. Formula Ultimate Gen 2 also gets a massive update with changes to the shapes of the car and they also get the updated version 1.6 tyre physics. I had to make a few tweaks but these cars now feel even more planted than they did before with the tyres feeling slightly more connected to the road. However I would say when you get on the edge the cars can be just as unforgiving. There's also been a host of AI updates. They fixed an issue where the AI wouldn't repair engine damage during qualifying or practice. This would mean a slowly decreasing number of the AI in qualifying or practice. But if the engine can be repaired, then they'll get back out on track. As you can see, this car's whole suspension system has been redesigned with full carbon fibre within a carbon fibre aluminium construction. It's more wide, sleek and aerodynamic. There's also a new radio antenna and pitot tube. The other change is we now have rim colours. Also, you notice the logo placement on the aerodynamic eyebrows. The new nose has a new flat profile and the front wing has also been redesigned and additional tiny reinforced structures that aid and direct the airflow. There is now an aerodynamic camera pod. 
and the fairing body has been redesigned with more modern dramatic curvature. The large chunky suspension also interfaces with the new aerodynamic eyebrows which in addition to the logo placement has a painted edge. There is further development for the AI, which now get aggressive defensive moves enabled in Formula Ultimate Gen 2 2024 and the Brazilian Stock Cars 2024. This Formula Ultimate Gen 2 2024 is a 20 lap race that I did with the AI set to aggressive. This race at Hockenheim was the most immersive action packed race I've ever had using the AI on AMS2 with really close toe to toe racing. Not only that, there were over 10 overtakes on the AI after I had already repeatedly overtaken them. The small nuances now mean that the AI appear to know where you are and can position their car accordingly so overtaking them can be slightly more tactical not only that the ai seem to be self-aware of where you are in front of them they will also aggressively take the initiative take the slipstream and pull out repeatedly to try and get an advantage and overtake you into the corner they do this knowing where you are on track and you're able to race wheel to wheel with them very closely the overall experience i had showed that the ai do not hold back in a train not overtaking each other and not trying to overtake you once you've already passed the ai racing on ams2 has always been good and it's been constantly improved but i think these two series now have the best ai performance They've added 3D trees near trackside for Adelaide, Cascaval and six other circuits from the Brazilian stock car series. Iberia has a remodelled outer terrain for better geographical accuracy with new water shaders, 3D foliage, reworked billboard foliage, new ground and road textures and seasonal foliage which is a lot more green and luscious in the dry season. Cascaval has adjusted terrain mess materials and textures, updated 3D billboard foliage. They've also fixed the UV mapping on the curbs. The curbs now have a lot more detail and you can really feel those coming through the wheel compared to the pre-update. They've also added a bunch of new buildings, removed the temporary stand and added a grandstand. In this update we also get a new track, the Nürburgring 1971 Bettenschleife layout. Originally the Nürburgring featured four configurations, the 28.265 km or 17.5 mile long Gassenstracht course, or the whole course, which in turn consists of the 22.8 or 14.1 mile Nordschleife or the North Loop and the 7.7 4.8 mile Südschleife, the South Loop. There was also a 2.2 km or a 1.4 mile warm up loop called the Zilschleife, the Finnish loop, or the Betenschleife, concrete loop. The concrete loop is certainly aptly named because this is the concrete section that curves around to the pet area. As you can see, as you go past the start and finish straight, you enter what is essentially a hairpin to the left which bows round and the circuit tracks back up past the start and finish area. Where you turn left and normally go to the Nordschleife, you turn right on the bank section of the concrete that takes you back towards the pits and reconnects with the start and finish area. I think this small circuit is really going to be a great addition for short sprint races, not just using classic content but also modern saloon cars. Reza has reduced the likelihood of a full course yellow being triggered by an AI incident during the final three laps of a race. This had been a criticism before where if you were doing the race you always felt that if an AI did have an incident the yellow flag would come out and you might have a safety car. This update looks like this has fixed this during the final three laps of a race. The Formula Retros and Formula Classics always had slightly light and disconnected force feedback. All of these generations have received force feedback updates and I have to say you can immediately feel the difference. This is a really welcome update for anyone that loves racing the classic content and shows that Reza is really thinking about the continuing development of all of the classes in the sim. As Automobilista 2 brings a close to this update, this paves the way for some really exciting content. 
that will continue on the improvements they've already made. It's quite possible, with the tie-up with IMSA, that later this year we're going to get more cars related to that series, including additional circuits such as Sebring, the new Detroit circuit and Road Atlanta. Not only that, with the Le Mans track pack they launched last year, there's a huge amount of scope for further WEC content, including developments of Le Mans with the historic content that everyone's been waiting for. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next one.